Greetings, neighbors. Let me introduce myself. My name is Chuck, and I am a real estate investor. I just bought a vacant lot in your neighborhood, and so, in a way, we're now partners. I'm looking forward to this neighborhood becoming a huge success. I'm sure to you it seems like I spent quite a bit on this vacant lot. Don't worry about me, neighbor. I know what I'm doing. You see, I'm looking around and I see all the work being put into this neighborhood. I see people fixing up their homes and businesses, painting their siding, planting flowers. How nice! It's just so delightful! I see developers coming in and building new things too. There's new housing going up and new shops opening. This neighborhood is really starting to take off. Then you have the city. They put millions into improving the street and now it's just gorgeous. And they're fixing up the park, adding some benches and a fountain. I really like the direction this is all going. So for me, I just want to say thank you, neighbor. Thank you for all the work you're doing to make this neighborhood a huge success. Please keep going. It's good for everyone. You see, I plan to be here quite a while. In fact, the longer I can hold on to this vacant lot, the more this investment is going to pay off. While you do the hard work of improving this neighborhood, my lot is increasing in value. You see, it's a great investment. And when you improve your property, neighbor, I know your property taxes go up. That's part of the deal. That's why I only invest in raw land. With a property tax, my taxes stay nice and low, despite everything you're doing to improve the place. I can just sit here for years, paying really low taxes, while you all make the neighborhood into someplace special, and the value of my vacant lot goes up and up and up. Once this neighborhood is awesome, that's when I'll sell. That's when I'll get the most out of my investment. That's my plan, neighbor. In the meantime, all I ask is you keep doing what you're doing to make the neighborhood better. And whatever you do, don't adopt a land tax. A land tax would destroy my entire investment strategy. If you tax land instead of taxing improvements, I'd have to do something with my property, or sell it to someone who would. That's a lot of work. That's more your kind of stuff, not mine. I'm all about making the investment, sitting back, and letting things happen. So here's to our partnership, neighbor. Thank you for making all of this possible.